He's kind of underrated. He likes to put people on the fence. He's good at uh, good at bringing people into his game. Uh, he was born, uh, but I don't see it. I don't, I don't know me how it's gonna. He's more experienced than me, but not more experienced against tougher competition. Uh, so yeah, I don't see how he's gonna outdress him. You know, I, I, I train him better wrestlers than him. He's not yeah, exactly. some kind of Olympic wrestler. He's an okay wrestler. Right. Division one there, and there's nothing in MMA. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I think he's good, but I think I'm better. So, like you talk about the fact that he's kind of underrated. He gets so much criticism for not being exciting, but yet he does have that impressive record. Do you think about that at all, winning versus you know winning exciting or being entertaining, or is it just clearly about getting the job done? My objective for Saturday is just get a W. It's, uh, it's nice to be an exciting or whatever, but uh, I agree to win on Saturday. So that's, uh, that's the only thing that's important to me. You know, make a prediction as to how, I have, I have no idea. I'll find a way to win. So you talked about you know, being 30, kind of reevaluating your camp. What, what are your goals right now? Obviously, you know, after a couple losses, it's obviously the win, but do you have short term, long term? What's what's guiding you right now? Well, my year starts with length. You know, my goal's always been, been to be lightweight champ. I fought some really tough guys. Uh, you know, I've made a choice. My fifth, fifth fight's been in the UFC, so my whole learning curve has been in the UFC. But uh, I feel like things are coming together nicely. And, you know, so it's all going to start with the lens. My year starts here. Awesome. Man. Thank you. Uh, you're, uh stepping in for Rory in this one but uh, you know even you've, you've been around longer than he has in my opinion uh, is this kind of set the world straight for you and getting this shot a little bit of a step up with Ebersol? Um, I don't want to discredit any of my other opponents you know in terms of how they stack the guys up style to make fights and say he's stronger than any other guys kind of takes away from them he's a good opponent for sure and uh, I'm not really interested in setting the world straight they're gonna do whatever they want to do right so I'm just gonna go out there and have the best fight I can. Do you know Ebersol? Yeah I was supposed to go to Australia and teach for him uh, in 2007. Yeah, he has uh, an academy up there and he wanted to be from vacation. I was going to go and teach, so we're wrapping back and forth the computer for a bit. So, uh, pretty nice guy overall, but uh, not nice enough to avoid the uh, beating on Saturday night. <laughs>